Hello and welcome to the second video in the Little Horse tutorial series. In this video we're going to create our first task worker uh, and create our first task definition and get our task worker to start pulling a, a task queue in Little Horse. In the next video we will use this task worker to implement a workflow. Um, so now um, uh, this video depends on what we did in the last tutorial, which is linked in the description. And as a result of the, the, what you did in the last video, you should have LHCTL installed, and you should also have Little Horse running in a Docker container, and you should be able to run the following command, LHCTL search task def. Uh, what this command does is it searches for all of the task definitions that are registered in Little Horse. Um, and basically, um, what that means is um, or, you know, uh, the, the results here show, show that nothing has been uh, deployed into our system. And by the end of this video, we're going to get, get a result. So uh, now let's um, go in and, and uh, look at the code. So I have created an empty Java application with uh, no logic, uh, just uh, basically it just runs and, and it prints hello there. This will all be on GitHub by the end of it. Um, so let's run the application. We see it prints hello there. Perfect. Uh, we know it's working. Um, Next step is we need to add the little horse client to our build.gradle file. Uh, there's a similar way to do it in, in, in Maven. Uh, I'm not personally familiar with Maven, but uh, it's, it's little horses on Maven Central, so you can definitely do it. Um, it's io.littlehorse, and then little horse client, and version 0.5.1 is the latest version. Uh, so there we go. Now we have uh, add little horse client to our repository. Um, then we will uh, Gradle build uh, just to pull down the uh, implementation. It looks like we're happy. Um, I may refresh my IDE so that we can get some auto autocomplete going on. All right, next thing we want to do is uh, look at the workflow we're going to implement. Uh, this is a very hello world, very simple workflow. Uh, it's, it's, you know, for most workflow engines, the greeting workflow is kind of the, the place where you start. Um, but in Little Horse, uh, let a quick refresher is that a workflow specification is a definition of a process that Little Horse can orchestrate. And the process has a series of steps. Uh, and uh, the most common type of step is a task in which uh, Little Horse will uh, dispatch work to a task worker, and then the task worker will execute it. So this workflow has an entry point node, and then a, a task node, and then an exit node. And this task basically is the greeting task. And in our very simple example, it's going to take in a string, which is a name, and then uh, it's going to return a greeting to, to the name that it receives. So uh, let's write a Java function that does that, and then we'll see how we can turn that plain old Java function into a Little Horse task worker in, I think, under six lines of code, maybe five or less. Okay, so uh, first thing we need to do is create a greeter. Uh, and now let's add a function that uh, does a greeting. All right, so this is a very simple Java function that basically just takes in a name and returns a greeting to that name. And actually, let's add a, a let's add a log here so that when we see it run uh, in in the workflow, uh, it will be uh, easier to to understand. Okay, so uh, now uh, we have this this uh, we have this function. Um, and uh, we, we are going to, in, in this uh, workflow, call a task named greet. So how do we tell Little Horse that when a task on the greet task queue is scheduled, please call this function? Simple. All we need to do is add an annotation right here. And we pass in, as the parameter to the annotation, greet, which is the name of the task that we want. Okay. Uh, so now we need to actually register the task with Little Horse. So how do we do that? Um, well, let's, uh, let's, let's write a function. So uh, we, when we, when we uh, register a task worker in Little Horse, we're going to need to know where to um, contact the Little Horse uh, API. And, and the way you, do, you configure that is with an lhconfig object, and that is common across all four of our SDKs. So let this function will take in, uh, sorry, this, this is Java, I should say this method will take in an lhconfig, and what it's going to do is uh, create a task worker. How do we create a task worker? Uh, pretty easy. There's an lh task worker object, 
um, and we say worker equals new LH task worker, um, and uh, we an executable. Uh, we, we pass in three arguments. One is an executable, which is an, a greeter object, which has a function, or has a method, sorry, annotated with, with that annotation. So we're going to create a greeter. Um, then we're going to pass in the name of the task that we want to execute. Uh, and we want to execute the greet task. If you see here, you know, the um, uh, this is, is the name of the task uh, right there on the annotation, and it uh, matches uh, what we pass in right there. So uh, last thing is uh, we pass in the config. And right here it says I O exception because uh, if the, the task worker creates a, a little horse client and if it can't connect to little horse server, we get an I O exception, which is a good thing. Okay, so now uh, how do we tell the worker to create the task definition? This basically tells little horse that the task is exists and now we can drop that task into a workflow. Okay. Uh, this is very simple. Worker dot register task def, uh, and um, there is a parameter here. It's called swallow already exists. So basically, what that means is uh, if if the task already exists, um, it will throw uh, an error with the gRPC code already exists, uh, and and that's good because sometimes you want to know that, but other times you don't care. And in, in our case, we don't really care if uh, the task already exists because we're not really changing anything around. So we're going to pass in true, which means swallow that error and, and, and don't worry about it. Um, so now we this is all we need to do to create the task definition. We can see here there's one, two, uh, three lines of code, and we have turned this Java function into a little horse task. So now what we need to do is we need to register the task definition. Uh, recall, sorry, we need to call this method. So let's create a config. If we, if we notice that we called this function, and there are other, sorry, there are other options. Uh, you could pass in a uh, a map of configurations. You can also pass in a file uh, location, which has a Java properties file with all the configs in them, or you could pass in a Java properties object. But if you just pass this, then the configuration is loaded from the environment. And since we don't have any environment variables set right now, all the configurations will be the default, which points the client to the um, Docker container that is running uh, locally. Uh, if you're using a Little Horse Cloud Sandbox, uh, please use the instructions we gave you um, to access the system that way. Um, OK, so now all we need to do is uh, register the task worker with this config, uh, and then this should return null, uh, yes. Um, now we are done. OK, uh, so uh, let's run this object, uh, run this uh, program, and we'll see if we can properly create the task worker. All right, so the program succeeded. Now what do you think happens when we LHCTL search task definition? We can see that we have a task definition called greet. Now let's look at it. OK, look, um, now we see we have uh, a task definition with one input variable. And this input variable has the name name and its type string. Now, how interesting is that? If you look over here, greeting, string, name. Huh, interesting. Little horse is cool. OK, uh, so in the next video, what we're going to do is start the task worker so that it starts pulling little horse for, for tasks.